Yo, what's up guys, how's it going? So in this video I'm going to be reacting and taking a look at some of the videos I did years ago when I was a kid. Um, like I haven't chosen them, I've randomly gone onto my hard drive, just selected like a random, I think I got four or five. Um, and yeah, I was going to have a look at them, have a react to them, and I used to do some pretty weird shit. Um, so let's take a look at what shit I've done. Right, okay, so... When I first started getting into theme park swimming, I decided to make a uh, YouTube channel uh, called Theme Park Collective. I still do it, I only just put videos on that on there now. Um, but yeah, I created a page and I used to do a thing called Theme Park Collective The Show, and it was really shit. I don't even know why anyone watched it, but people seemed to enjoy it. Um, and I like removed all of the videos of the YouTube channel because it was too horrible. I watched them like three or four years ago. Um, and I've never been able to watch them since. So let's have a look at this. Um, and you'll be able to watch it along with me as well. Let's watch it. Nice intro. Good music. Hi guys, welcome <laughs> to Theme Park Collective, the show. We've got lots to talk about today, so let's crack on straight ahead with UK Theme Park. God, I'm so pale. Got the good intro. Hi guys, to start off with our UK Theme Park news. We're going to be talking about the Smiler. Smiler yes, of course. the Smiler is now open it's at open. the Ontario Resort. It's stalled again this Tuesday, which is the fourth of uh, June. I like that little um, banner it's now thing I've got going on. So if you haven't been on it, head down to the Ontario Resort. Ride it. It's an incredible cool. ride. Um, okay, that's boring. Can't be fight to watch anymore. Um, yeah, basically they used to do the show that was every week, I think, or every two weeks. Um, but I used to do that. That was shit. Um, I don't even know why, why anyone would watch that. Even I made it, and I think probably when I was editing it, I found it really exciting and everything, but now, that's just boring. I don't even know why anyone, like, I, I don't know why people watch all these theme park shows. I mean, like, Theme Park World 1, that, fair enough, it's got a big fan base and it's full of kids who watch it, but I can't imagine anyone who would sit down properly and watch, like, a half an hour episode of just news, which you could just, what, go online and look anywhere. So really the point of that. Anyway, let's go to the next video. Right, okay, so this was my... GCSE drama devised. Well, I'll pause that a minute. Um, basically, devised means you create a play or like a, a performance piece, um, which is worth sort of like 10, 15 minutes. Um, well, this was like 20 minutes long, I think. Wait, how long was it? Let me double check. Yeah, about 10, 15 minutes long. Um, and you would design it around a historical event or whatever. So we decided to base it on the potato famine. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen this video, well, I haven't actually seen it at all ever since I did the performance of it. Um, so this was back in 2014. Anyway, this was done back when I was doing GCSEs, which is like sort of five, six years ago now anyway. Um, <coughs> and we got an A star for it. Um, so they must have enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, let's see how it is. Let's see what it's like now. I'm playing Sir Charles Trevelyan. <laughs> Skinny I am. I mean, I'm not overly fat now, but still. And that. God, that. They can't And miraculously, I found some potatoes which have got mould or something on them. That is my voice, by the way, in the background. Well, oh, I'm going to skip to the end of this because this is horrible. I've done not like watching this. Words are lightly spoken, sent here to Connolly. Maybe a breath of political words. Because we're the little rose tree. What the head flap, though? <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh huh, this my shit. All the girls dump your feet. Right. That's that video done. Oh, how did I get an A star for that? That was pretty bad. Anyway, next video. Right, okay, so this is a mystery video. I don't know what this is. This was taken back in 2011 or something. I've no, I've no idea what it is, what it's about. Um, but let's have a look at it. Oh, it's the exploding pen. Oh, this was fun. God, it's gonna do an exploding pen now. <laughs> Why am I wearing two jumpers? Who the fuck wears two jumpers? Oh, that's my boy Dan Clark. Awesome. You guys see him in a couple of vlogs earlier. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? 
What? I can't believe I'm. I what the that. fuck are you doing? You just opened it up very slowly. God, I was such a fucking weird kid. Yeah. My point exactly. What am I doing? Do that. It, yeah. The magic. Paper's magic. The, the paper's magic. The paper's magic. <laughs> So a little pen explodes and everyone loses their mind. Didn't even scare me. Of course it didn't, mate. Yeah, that was that. Um, the next video is... Oh god, okay, so this is my music recital I did at my school. Um, I was a music scholar there for oh, about eight, nine years. Um, and uh, I played tuba and organ. Yeah, I know it's really lame instruments, but I loved playing the tuba and everything. Um, and yeah. I play an organ piece first, from what I can remember, which goes awfully wrong. Um, and then I play the tuba and that's alright. Um, so yeah, let's watch the video. Uh, first piece I'll be playing is Magnificat, Magnificat by Gilmon. Chew, absolute chew. Oh my god. Is he gonna recover it? Yes. We're back on the road. That's enough of the organ. Um, so that was alright. I wasn't very confident with the organ. Um, because, like, you've got all of the notes in front of you. And you've got to know which one's the right one to press. Um, but yeah, that was alright. Now let's watch the tuba. So that's a really nice song. If you ever listen to it, uh, just go onto YouTube after this and type in Vaughan Williams' Tuba Concerto. Um, and it's a really, really good song. It's got a fat intro. I was alright. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I miss playing the tube. I used to play it all the time, every single day, but now I've moved here. I don't have time to do anything because it's all uni work and all that rubbish. Um, but yeah, time for the next video. Okay, so I've just had a look at the thumbnail and I know exactly what this is. It's one of the funniest things that ever happened at college. Um, so basically, you know that like you've got the uh, garlic and herb dips which come with Domino's Pizza? We ordered a load of them, we didn't end up uh, using them all. Uh, so me and my mate Dan, Shout out to Dan, he's always watching this still. Um, we, well, he decided to pile them on top one of each other. On top one of each other? On top of each other. Um, and then he bashes his hands down and just see what happens. And I don't know why we did this. Um, we're such idiots. I mean, there was another occasion when we thought it'd be funny to go down on the stairs in the house on a toboggan board and the uh, member of staff on duty came in and told us off. I mean, stupid stuff like that which you would never normally do, you just do it because you'd want to have fun and be stupid. Um, but what happens at the end is hilarious. Right, so let's, let's give this a watch. Why don't you do it on the side? Because otherwise you won't be able to see it very well. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here he goes. God. <laughs> He's such an idiot. And we were left with this mess of domino sauce to clear and it was an absolute nightmare because it's like a oil based sauce. So we had to go and get fuck loads of soap to get rid of it. 
Um, but no, that was probably one of the funniest things that ever happened at school. That was brilliant. Anyway, next video time. Right, so I've just watched the start of this one, and it's incredibly cringy. Um, I don't know why I'm showing this, but I thought I was Michael Jackson. Like, I actually thought I was Michael Jackson at one point, because I can do the moonwalk. I can still do it, but I thought I was the best person in the world. I thought it was even better than Michael Jackson doing this. Um, and it was in my room at school, and uh, I had a strobe light, and we had, like, another light, so I wired all that shit up. I put like a like a blanket on the floor to make it look cool with a backdrop, and it looks stupid and ridiculous and the worst thing ever. But I still did it. Um, but yeah, let's watch the video. Can you the strobe going? Billy Jean. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, it looks alright. Like, it looks cool, but it's fucking weird. <laughs> what am I doing with my hands? I'm gonna try to do the one you did Oh god, I'm not trying to do something else. What? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm such a weird kid! Well, fuck that. Fucking hell. Thank fuck that is over. That was awful. Um, and thank god I don't have listened to any more stupid videos. Or watch them, because that was awful. Um, yeah. I was a very strange kid. Um, I don't even know why I'm sharing these videos out there, but yeah. Whatever. Anyway. <coughs> Thank you for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this video, because I certainly haven't, because um, that's just embarrassing and degrading and awful, um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, I will see you people in the next video, which will be uh, after this weekend, because uh, I'm off to Blackpool on Saturday, uh, and then off to Cardiff on Sunday to do rafting and loads of other fun water sports shit, um, so we're going to do that, thank you for watching guys. Remember to subscribe, to like this video, um, and follow all my socials. Uh, they're after this little bit. When I finish off, you'll see my socials up there. Um, so yeah, be sure to follow and add me on that shit. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.